नमस्ते हमेशा खुश रहो विद्या दिस इज जेविन डॉक्टर लिली त्रिवेदी गिविंग यू अ लेक्चर फॉर बी एस सी बी एड फोर्थ सेमेस्टर एनाटॉमी एकोलॉजी एंड एवोल्यूशन एंड द टूडे लेक्चर इज ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ लमार्किजम जीन बैप्टिस्ट लमार्क पुट फॉरवर्ड द स्टोरी ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ एक्वायर्ड कैरेक्टर एंड दिस इज नोन एज लमार्किजम Now it was published in the book Philosophy Zoology in the year eighteen hundred nine. Now what is Lamarckism? There are four propositions of Lamarckism. First, a living organism and their parts tend to increase in size continuously due to internal forces of life. Second, new organs are formed in the body of organism. in response to new need for example he gave was of evolution of thought the plantigrade type of foot changed into unguligrade foot why because the ancestors of the horse lived in soft ground while for which the plantigrade foot was adequate while the soft ground in the jungle was replaced by dry hard land so the foot changed into unguligrade type this is more suited for running on hard ground third he gave was if an organ is continuously or constantly being used it tends to be highly developed whereas the misuse of the or organ results in degeneration for an example he gave of the aquatic birds which develop foot by stretching the skin between the toes Second example we can have is that the limbs are absent in snakes, tortoises, and some burrowing animals. Why? Because since there was no use in crawling and there are hindrances in the movement. The classical example of the long neck of the giraffe was developed due to constant stretching to reach the foot. The muscles of the external ear or pinna are reduced but functional. Whereas they are well developed in animals like dog, rabbit, etc., because they collect the sound waves. The fourth, which he gave proposition, was that changes acquired during lifetime of an individual are inherited by its offspring. Now these four story points were given in the market. Now we have several criticism. for the marxism theory and two scientists cuvier and westman were the great critics of the marxism now the objections which they raised were as follows like though the tendency to increase in size has been shown in many forms but there is also a reduction in size seen in certain cases for example the trees which are primitive are larger in size whereas the shrubs and herbs grasses which are evolved later are smaller in size so there is a contradiction then if a new organ develops in response to a new need then the man should have developed wings by now then changes acquired during lifetime of organism cannot be inherited by the offspring for example a man loses his arm in the war he does not produce children without an arm according to august westman somatic changes acquired during the life of of an organism are non inherited there is the changes which occur in the germ plasm or reproductive cells are inheritable by the offspring so westman theory was also known as theory of continuity of germ plasm and august westman in 1904 Give an example by cutting the tail of the mice for about twenty-two generations, but the offspring of the twenty-second generation also had a tail as long as it, as its original parent. So it shows that the changes in the germ plasm are heritable, and there is in the somato plasm are non-inheritable. Therefore, another which was There was Mendel's law of inheritance also disproved the Marxism. So the Marxism theory was not approved. So students, I hope you have gained some insight 
about the Lamarckism, Lamarckism theory. And if you are satisfied with my digital version, kindly comment in the comment section. I will resolve it soon. If you have any query, please give in the comment section. This session was powered by digital version 2.0 of Jyoti Vidyapeet Women's University. Thank you and Namaste.